Hello everyone, I am Megha Jain, student of BSc 6th semester, pursuing my graduation from Dr. Harisingha Central University Sagar, has prepared my presentation under the guidance of Dr. Dipali Jat Ma'am. I will be elaborating on the topic, the economic importance of genetic improvement for farm animals. What is genetic improvement in farm animals? The improvement in genetic merit refers to the overall improvement in a flock brought about by selection for a number of traits that contribute to the flock's breeding objective such as high growth rate or carcass yield. Now we will analyze the need for genetic engineering. Globally, livestock continues to have a wide range of important roles and can be brought about through genetics which influence animal performance. Long before the current knowledge of genetics, people understood the value and importance of choosing the best animals to become parents and avoiding unhealthy and aggressive animals. In the past half century, it has become clearer that breeding of animals moves hand in hand with major changes in both feeding and management and it has a huge impact on animal production leading to higher production efficiencies and lower prices for the consumers. In parts of the world where breeding has been used effectively, genetic improvement of farm animals has contributed to increasing the availability and affordability of highly nutritious food and contributing to the global food security challenges and it has improved resource use efficiency per unit of product. While principles of breeding are easy to grasp, modern animal breeding methodology is anything but difficult. Let's conceptualize how genetic engineering is carried out. Genetic improvement strategies should be applied like selection between breeds, selection within breeds or lines or crossbreeding. Selection between breeds is the most radical option. It is the substitution of a genetically inferior breed by a superior one. The steps involved are characterization. Characterization is the assessment of livestock populations and their production environments to establish their current status and identify strengths that can be enhanced and weaknesses that need to be overcome. Step 2 is Conservation Conservation of animal genetic resources refer to measures taken to prevent the loss of genetic diversity in livestock population including to protect breeds from extinction. It can involve both the conservation of live populations and cryoconservation. Cryoconservation stands for the preservation through freezing at extremely low temperatures of materials such as semen or embryos. Genetic improvement takes time. The amount of time is influenced by three key factors. The first being heritability of the trait. The degree to which the trait will be passed on is referred to as the heritability of the trait. Highly heritable traits are easier to select for. While the heritability of a trait cannot be changed the degree of heritability of particular traits need to be considered in the overall breeding program. Generation interval. The time between generations determined by the average age of the parents at each mating. This can be reduced by using young sires and technologies such as JIVET, which stands for Juvenile In Vitro Embryo Transfer. Selection differential. The difference between the average genetic merit of the parents and the average of the population from which they come. This is a breeder's main tool in driving genetic improvements. Producers who buy RAM from breeders who undertake whole flock recording and have high quality data and therefore more accurate will be better able to exploit selection differential as a driver of genetic improvement. Now let us find out what genetic improvement or genetic engineering is. Genetic manipulation in animal 
for high productivity is also called genetic engineering. It refers to the alteration of the genes of an organism. It involves manually adding new DNA to an organism to add new traits. Examples of genetically engineered organisms include organisms that are resistant to diseases. Genetical engineering is the name of a group of techniques used to identify, replicate, modify and transfer the genetic material of cells, tissues or complete organisms. The objective of this technology is to increase disease resistance, productivity and product quality in economically important animals by adding information of DNA markers to phenotypes for selection decisions. Animal containing of a foreign gene are termed as transgenic animals and are used for various purposes of production. Genetic improvement, also called animal breeding, is based on the principle that products, milk, meat, wool, etc. are services, example, transport, drought power, or cultural services provided by animals are a function of the genes and the environmental influence that can be exposed to. Now let us learn about the economic importance of genetic engineering for farm animals. Improvement can be achieved by selecting genetically superior animals to be the parents of the next generation. Genetically superior means superior in terms of a particular set of characteristics, which usually include productivity in the environmental conditions, except in the future, but should also consider traits such as fertility, disease resistance or longevity that relate to costs of production. The inferior economic performance of a breed leads to decreased interest among farmers and eventually extension. Therefore, some approach to selection is needed to increase economic performance, more output, less cost. In principle, all livestock breeds should be able to benefit from the advances in animal breeding and improvement. Sufficient genetic variation in livestock population is necessary both for adaptation to future changes in climate and consumer demand and for continual genetic improvement of economically important traits. The benefits of genetic improvement are listed as follows. Genetic improvement benefits individual breeders and the broader sheep industry by increasing productivity and profitability. Genetic improvement takes time and a long-term view of production and market requirements is required when selecting for genetic improvement. Genetic improvement has the potential to assist in meeting market requirements, improve overall productivity and profitability, improve specific traits of a flock including growth rate, carcass yield, fleece weight, fiber diameter and variation in birth weights. To manipulate gene, sequence and animals, other organisms express specific traits. They increase efficiency in utilizing feed, ability to give learner meat and resistant to certain diseases and insects. Selection of pharmaceuticals in milk, blood and urine which can be used for manufacturing other materials. How is genetic engineering of animals regulated? The following questions are asked. Is the new animal drug safe for the animal? Is the new animal drug effective? Is the drug for food producing animals, the resulting food safe to eat? Although pre-market regulatory review of genetically engineering animals is mandatory. With this, I would like to wrap up. Thank you.